What is going on guys? Today is the day I'm going to attempt to share with you guys the method to my madness that goes on in my brain. I'm going to do my best to give you guys a tutorial on how I do my personal Sinawali or Corenza. Uh, I will give you guys a disclaimer that I'm doing something that's very, very similar to some of the attributes that my Sinawali has, but I can't give you guys 100% the step-by-step -step because I can't replicate what I do. Sometimes I just do what the heck I feel like doing, whether it happens automatically or it happens, you know, at a certain place, whether it's my closed position, my open position, and that's how the flow kind of works. Although I'm conscious and I'm trying to input certain techniques, I have to work within the flow. I have to let it come to me and I have to be conscious and confident in my movement and just, you know, let the madness happen. So. I'm going to take it slowly. I'm going to show you a couple of angles. I'm going to show you slow, a little bit faster, and kind of what my thought process is behind it. Okay, so um, at the same time, I'm going to go through the techniques fairly quickly. So if you want to learn the techniques on their own, a lot of them are on FMA Concepts. A lot of them are on this YouTube channel. So make sure you listen to the keywords I'm going to say. I'm also going to put it in the description box so you guys can search away on this channel or again on FMA Concepts. So. Have a stick in my right hand. I'm going to start with a reverse forehand with tick or snapping strike. And this one is over here. It's my bread and butter. I love doing techniques like that. And that usually gives this quick, sharp snapping motion. And it's, uh, it's, it's nice to look at, I, I suppose. So my target here is I'm aiming at someone's hand. I'm kind of chopping it over there. So you can hear a loud whip or snapping motion. And that's the power you need to make this technique work. So I'm going to go one into a backhand tilapilom, which is basically a twirling or twisting strike. Okay, so that's going to be one to two. One to two. From there I go into a forehand tilapilom, three. Okay, so it's going to be one, two, three. And again, when I do that, the confidence that I know I'm not going to hit my head comes from the practice, from the repetitions. I know the way my body feels when I have a good tadapi long. So when I power it up and I speed it up, I'm doing it with consciousness and confidence and not just hoping that it's not gonna hit me because it will backfire on you if you don't practice it and learn the way your body works. Okay, so top one, two, three. My fourth strike is gonna be an arco strike and that's basically a snapping strike, big circle on my clothes position or my backhand side, my left side here. Same attribute as number one, this time it stays on one side. Okay, so it has one, two, three, and four. This one I'm really trying to stretch it out, whip, and then close. Okay, the terminology. Reverse forehand with tick. Backhand, tarapilon, forehand, tarapilon, and an arco strike. Okay, the final piece is just an angle four. That's a horizontal slash. Okay, so from the top, it's one, two, three, four, five. Back to one, two, three, four. Five. Back to one, two, three, four, five. Now when I loop it, what it looks like is it's kind of like a, a horizontal into a circle motion. So it looks a lot like this. And I really put my shoulder and my hip into it to really set off the beginning and carry on that momentum into my terapilon here. Okay. So I'm going to do it flowing. And then I'm going to start to gradually increase the speed so you can kind of get the vision of it and then show you what I do for the quote unquote fillers. Because I don't do this over and over and over again because that would be a controlled or constructed Sinawali. It's, it's a count that I'm following and most of the time I, I don't. Okay, so we start off here. We go into our Tirapilons, Arco, and we flow. So 
You can see a lot of those whipping motions. You can see it's controlled, it's precise, but then again, it goes back into the flow. And it's just kind of my interpretation of what's called a single Sinawali in the bias stress model system. Now when I'm doing that, I'm trying to implement those snapping strikes because those are one of my favorite motions. I'm thinking of fillers, and the fillers can consist of my X pattern, my side to side, and my reverse X. And occasionally, I'll change that into the actual attributes in which I just taught. Uh, sometimes I use my single Sinawali. So my single Sinawali is the standard four techniques or four counts that I teach my students in learning how to weave and flow their own Carenza or Sinawali. But there's always a base, there's always a guideline and a structure. And that, what that looks like is it's angle one, arco, angle two, twirl. One, arco, two, twirl. Okay, so remember that, because there is a video on that. I, I will hint that in there, there is a video on that, okay? So, as I'm doing my technique, sometimes I go back to simple stuff, sometimes I mix it up and really get those snaps in, and then my footwork comes into play where I start playing with angles, and I'm moving with my strike. And that's how my single Sinawali, or my Carenza, is done, okay? So, I wanted to give this video to you guys to show you that Kali can have a structure and it can be taught as intricate and as crazy and wild as it can be. There's always a way to describe it. You just have to do the, you know, the small things, do your the, the due diligence and look at Kali in fractions so that it makes sense. Because this is, as a whole, if I'm trying to teach you this in three counts, you will have no idea what I'm doing. And that's kind of one thing I'm pushing with FMA Concepts is I'm trying to teach Filipino martial arts, which is rather an unorthodox art. It's an, it's an oral art. I'm trying to teach it in so many different fractions that anyone of any experience, of any background, can understand it and can learn it. It's a beautiful art, and I love to share it with you guys. So the last thing I want to leave you guys off with is uh, as you guys are, are practicing this, also get into a place where you can create your own, right? Not that there can only be one of me, and I'm honored if you guys take attributes of my Sinawali and place it into yours, but the one that's gonna work the best for you, the one that's gonna look the best, is the one that comes directly from your brain, right? So these are just things to spice it up, things of different perspective, but again, be true to yourself, let yours shine. If yours is simple, linear lines, if yours is crazy like mine, if it's slow, if it's fast, whatever it is, it's perfectly fine. It's perfect. If it works for you, it works for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment below and let me know if you guys have used anything that I have. I'm very honored to share my love of Filipino martial arts and martial arts in general on such a big platform like YouTube. So make sure you also follow me on Instagram. Follow the gym, support us, and until next time, catch you guys there.